Thank you, Madam General Evaluator, fellow Toastmasters, the most welcome newest member, or will be, the first week of April. <laughs> By the way, don't start my time yet. I already I started it. Okay. We're stop. All right, We're stopping. No, no, no. I already oh, stopped no, now. No, I already no. stopped. Let me see time go. Stop, no. <laughs> Not from <late>. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Ready? Thank you. Thank you. Start. And most especially, Conda. I love that speech. I could hear it again and again. Mm -hmm. And I hope to make it to the division contest. Mm -hmm. I wasn't able to make the area contest, so I can hear it. I'm making an assumption, since there was no announcement this morning of who our winners were at the area contest, that you did. That, that's well, because that would be, it's on Monday? Next Monday. Oh. Next Monday. Oh, can you make it now? Time work. Okay, is this another? Yes. Hello? We'll talk about this afterwards. Yeah. Keep going. We want to hear the evaluation. All right, all right. Uh, I am confused, and that's easily done. Me too. But not through Conda's story. I followed it very clearly from beginning to end. It is a fantastic and very powerful life story. You obviously were prepared to presented to us. You knew the story well, you delivered it flawlessly. I only have one suggestion, and it goes back to eye contact. It looked to me like you were either looking at Gary or that wall, pretty much the whole time. When you give it to the audience, pick out someone on the left, talk to that person through at least a complete sentence, and then pick someone in the center and do the same thing, and then someone on the right and do the same thing. And it gives the audience a sense that you are connected with the audience, rather than kind of uh, looking off into space and, and every now and then just panning the audience with your eyes. I don't know any other suggestion for you. This was a body movement project, last minute pick, but you still did fine. You had great gestures. Your voice was very strong in a number of places where uh, you brought up, you were quoting Hitler, and it was a very powerful statement at that point, and then you softened. So you hold the audience by changing your, the inflection of your voice, and you did that very well. I applaud you, and I look forward to maybe next Monday night hearing it. Thank you.